Okay. Uh, you have any uh, quarterback news for us? Yes, we do have news. Uh, we have announced that Kirk Cousins will be the starter for 2015 moving forward. Um, and I think all three quarterbacks should be commended for their efforts, um, their willingness to get better. But when it's all said and done, after all the film that we've gone through, all the off-season activity, all the training camp footage, we feel like at this time, Kirk Cousins gives us the best chance to win. And that's where we're going. When you say for 2015, does that mean barring? It's Kirk's team. OK. When did, when did this kind of open back up? Because obviously, you guys announced at the combine that, that Robert was going to be the starter. And then through camp, he took most of the reps with the ones. Um, at what point in time did you and Bruce and Scott and Dan decide to open this thing back up? I just think it's not so much what somebody didn't do. It's just what Kirk has done. And I think what he's done in practice and OTAs has really opened our eyes. And he's proven uh, to be the best quarterback on our roster at this time, really. It's a, it's, it's a compliment to Kirk, not so much uh, the other guys didn't do this or didn't do that. I just think Kirk has played so well that he has earned the right. And when we announce a starting group, a first-team offense, a first-string defense, there's still competition there. You know, it's linebacker, defensive back, it doesn't matter. You still have to perform at a high level to keep your spot. And if you're a backup, if you perform at a high level, you have a chance to uh, take a spot. And that's basically what happened. Kirk has done an outstanding job. Robert's done some great things, no question. We have total faith in all three of them. But uh, moving forward, uh, with all the uh, things that we've studied over the course of training camp and OTAs, we just feel like Kirk has earned the right to be the starting quarterback for 2015. Jay, uh, the obvious question next, what, where does this leave Robert with you guys? Um, Robert's on our status? football team, and he's a Washington Redskins, and, and we believe in Robert. You know, it's, it's, a, it's a problem. It's a good problem to have, to have three quarterbacks that are competing and uh, working their butts off, and I feel like all three of them are capable quarterbacks. But... Uh, you know, some people say when you have three, you don't have one. I, I disagree with that. We have three good quarterbacks that I feel good about. I just feel like Kirk right now gives us the best chance. Um, Jay, we're not going to have a chance to talk with Mr. Snyder, so I'm wondering if you could share with us who was involved in reaching this decision when it was reached, and in particular, what Mr. Snyder's stance was on, on this conclusion. You know, uh, Mr. Snyder has been nothing but supportive of this football team and, and everything we're doing moving forward. Um, so uh, we kind of tell him what we're thinking, how we're feeling, and he's all for it. All Mr. Snyder wants to do is win. You know, that's the bottom line. And there's a lot of things being said that he's pulling for this guy or this guy or that guy. That's never been the case here. Uh, he wants us to win football games. Scott McLuhan, myself, Bruce, we're all in the same uh, boat. And uh, our job is to put the best 53 men out there, our starting group, our backup group, and. Uh, that's what we went with. But ultimately, as a football coach, it's my call to say who starts and who doesn't start. So uh, basically, it's my decision, and, and I got the, the feedback from Bruce and Scott, and we're all together on it.